All right, guys, today we're gonna to do another round of seed starting. Uh, if you've been following my channel, you know that if you watch the video, Garden Disappointment, that I planted my tomatoes out in my garden a little too early. We had a surprise cold snap come in. We literally went from 70 degrees one day to 27 degrees the next day. It was hailing, it was snowing. And my tomato plants uh, are going through uh, a tremendous amount of transplant shock and I just, some of them I lost altogether. So today I'm going to start over those tomato plants that were hit hard just so I have backups better late than never, you know, and uh, at least this way I'll get one or two of those plants. And it's fine because it'll be like succession gardening uh, where I just won't get everything all at once. And these tomato plants will actually come a couple months later but i still have plenty of time for the spring and the summer to get these tomato plants big enough that they're going to produce some really nice tomatoes so let me show you what i'm going to plant over again first um do 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 I'm going to do the Federal tomato, the Yellow Stuffer tomato, the Parsibin tomato, the Mortgage Lifter, which took a real bad hit. I think all three plants that I planted took a really bad hit. Uh, the Sheboygan, because one of them took a hit, but I just love saying Sheboygan. And it's a beautiful tomato. Look at that. Great sauce tomato. Uh, the Moneymaker, again, because I just love, it's a moneymaker, you know? My hillbilly, my white cherry took a hit, my ace 55, my black semen, even though I do have like three of the black semen that are still looking pretty decent and I'll probably recover, the orange currant because uh, I just couldn't find them in the greenhouse. I don't know what happened, but I still have them. So uh, my beef steak. I just want to plant another round of Roma, Romas. I still have plenty of Romas in the greenhouse, but I'm going to do another round of these because I love these tomatoes so much. Uh, my green zebra, my chocolate stripes, my tigerella, green sausage, Hartman's yellow gooseberry, even though uh, they took a hit, but they still look pretty good. I'm, I'm going to plant a couple more of these because... The tomatoes are just so tiny they're literally like that big so i'm gonna plant them again my black crim took a big hit my sun globe my ukraine purple the castelluto genovese took a hit and one of my favorite tomatoes the alpaca i lost plants all together with this so it's not even like they have a chance to recover the wind was so strong it just snapped the vines and they're just gone so let's start with my tomatoes i'm gonna bring you down okay so i'm just gonna use my standard seed starting mix which is uh you can go back and watch my original seed starting video to see the uh the mix that i use it's basically jiffy's seed starting mix which is just peat moss cocoa choir and uh vermiculite i did add in some uh just a small amount of uh worm castings to give it just a little nutrition and not much more i'm not gonna go crazy with the seed starting mix oops don't let that fall and i'm gonna fill my cells up these tomatoes now because if i don't then it might just be too late because i'm already a couple months behind my other plants literally i am 10 weeks behind my other plants. I planted my other seeds February 2nd. So you have February, March, and half of April. All right, so let's start with the alpaca. I think I only have one plant left in the garden, so I'm going to plant at least three of these. Ooh, these tomato seeds are small. I forgot how small they were. Okay, so I'm going to put one in each corner, so if one doesn't germinate, 
the other one will. But let's face it, these seeds come from M.I. Gardener. And uh, I swear if his germination rate isn't damn near close to 100%. If not, it's like 95%. So I'm not really concerned, but I'm going to put them in one in each corner. And just push it down a little bit with my pencil and cover it up just a tiny bit with some extra soil. And that's it. You know, I have one seed left in my hand, so I might as well just throw it right in the middle of that one. Like I said, I could always thin this out later if I have too many seeds. Uh, and what I do is I always write on my tomatoes I'll show you I always write either an I or a D because I can't remember every tomato plant that I plant whether it's an indeterminate or a determinate tomato remember indeterminate tomatoes will keep on growing as long as you support them and trellis them right they will keep on growing and keep on producing the entire season determinate tomatoes they're like a bush they grow to a determinate height and they put out a determinate amount of tomatoes and by mid-season they usually die off and then they're done and that's the end of the tomato plant so the alpaca go there the other one constellute genovese once again i'm gonna do one in each corner And just take my pencil or a bamboo stick or a, a toothpick or whatever and I'm just gonna bury it down a little bit that's all not too much one there one there You know, not to just keep on propping up M.I. Gardener, but his seeds have such an amazing germination rate. And not only that, but they're only 99 cents a pack when most other seed suppliers are almost 2 to $3 a pack. I'll put the rest of these back in here. I have a really good friend at work that... Uh, wants to start growing some tomatoes so i'm going to save some of these seeds and, and give them to her so this is the costaluto genovese and that's an indeterminate so i put an eye on it again just like that and that's going to go there all right, so I'm going to finish the rest of these tomatoes up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then we'll move on to some other plants that I'm going to start seed starting. Um, just because I feel like it. I could direct sow them outside, but since I still have a couple weeks before I trust that we're not going to get another cold snap, because I know we're going to get one on Wednesday, uh, I'm going to start them inside. So let me do that, and I'll bring you back. Photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, cause you were perfect, I swear. But somebody told me that it's over. I know it's true. You made me happy for a
I got all my tomato seedlings in. I will show you that. I put them in my inside grow tent. Um, that's 48 new tomato plants to be planted out, which is great because it'll be succession gardening. And uh, as my one tomato crop starts to let off, the other one will start producing and it'll be fine. I'll have tomatoes even later into the fall. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do next is Let's see, a lot of ones that normally I direct sow, but since I'm so sketchy about the weather right now and these cold snaps that we keep on having, like I said, there's another one coming this Wednesday. I'm gonna start them inside and, uh, and see what happens. So I have some winter squash here, the blue Hubbard. I have Excuse me. Frog in my throat. Uh, the Delica Winter Squash. One of my favorites, the Watham Butternut Squash. I have Green Scallop or Patty Pans, some people call them. They're going to go. The Oh, this is another butternut. I, I must have bought two packets by accident. That's okay. I got the summer squash, zucchini green. I got some collards I want to get growing. Spaghetti squash. The golden zucchini summer squash. The black beauty summer squash. Another scallop, the yellow scallop, the patty pan. A white bush scallop patty pan, the red okra, red burgundy okra, great producer, amazing vegetable for stews and pickling and fermenting, and two different types of Brussels sprouts. I got the Long Island Brussels sprouts and the Red Bull Brussels sprouts. So those are all going to go into a sea tray today. It's the wrong time to surrender Light me up and skip You are the wrong line of my scarce life What do you found in me? If I fall down, will you follow me into the time?
Some say that I'm blind And the biggest mistake You think that I write But I woke up Out of revenge And the tears I cry I hold not behind my back I fall back to black I just wanna say goodbye it for the steve starting today that's all i'm going to do for right now the rest of everything that i have is going to be direct sewn outside normally i do do my squashes direct sewn outside but like i said because i do not trust the weather right now and we're still getting cold snaps i am going to start these inside remember there are no rules to gardening there's only suggestions and guidelines feel free to break the rules anytime you want what's the worst that's going to happen it's just not going to grow or it might die you know um as you saw, that last one I put in was mystery seeds. I've been trying to guess what that is. And I guess I won't know until I actually plant them and let them grow. Uh, the one thing I will say, though, is that I do make a difference between my summer squashes and my winter squashes because I do grow and plant them differently. Um... I try to, my summer squashes can be trellised, so I try to put up a structure or some wire or cage to allow them to trellis up. This is going to uh, lessen their footprint because squash plants have a tendency to get enormous and take over an enormous amount of your garden uh, and you need a lot of room to grow them. So my summer squashes, I'm gonna try to trellis them up somehow. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it depends on what I do with the garden and my winter squash my winter squashes I'm going to plant them directly into the ground hopefully uh, by the time these germinate and grow up to a decent size I won't even have to upplant them I'll just harden them off outside and then put them directly into the ground and let them go from there uh, I might only get a week or two jump start on the season with the squashes really don't care squashes grow like wild flat fire especially in my yard at least that's my experience from the past um so i'm going to take these i'm going to put them in my grow tent inside i'll take you over i'll show you a picture of that and uh and then we're going to say good night here is my little grow tent that i got my eye power with my mars hydro grow light i'm not going to turn on the grow light just yet i'm going to give them a couple days of darkness first i'm not going to water them right now i'm going to just whatever moisture i put into the soil mix in the beginning that's how i'm going to leave it um and then when i see it start to dry out just a little bit i'll start bottom watering and i'll just put about half an inch of water in the bottom of here and then in about a week i'll start adding some liquid nutrition i'll add that uh mr uh or dr earth's uh organic pump liquid fertilizer that's a one 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 very gentle and i'll add it to that and we'll see if we can get a jump start and a restart with my tomatoes again guys thank you so much for hanging out i hope you learned a little bit something about seedlings today remember don't plant in soil plant in a seed starting mix i use jiffy's organic seed starting mix you can make your own with just a little peat moss a little cocoa choir uh, and some vermiculite it's real easy real cheap to do um moisten it i always pre-moisten first i don't water afterwards because i don't want to oversog them so i pre-moisten the soil till i can squeeze it it clumps up but no water drips out of my hand and then i put them in the grow tent i'll leave them in the dark for about three days and then I'm going to put this on an 18-hour cycle. 18 hours on, 6 hours off. Right? My math? Yeah, that's right. 24 hours. Okay? And I'll bring you back in and I'll show you what's going on in a week or two. All right? Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. YouTube, 
It's important to YouTube. It, when they see people liking my videos, they think that there's, or you're showing them that there's decent content in here and they're going to broadcast it to a larger audience and we can gain some traction on this channel. If you really like uh, what you saw here, please subscribe, hit that like button, share these videos with your friends and with your family and hit that bell icon so you know every time I put out a new video. Thank you much for joining me. I love you and I'll see you on the next episode.